How are you? How are you doing? You had a taste of the Raiders here in that first game when they came into Kansas City. What do you feel about this rivalry? What have you learned about this rivalry, the intensity of these two teams when they meet on the field? Um, the the intensity is, is is going to be there, and it's not just you know through uh, through us, but you know it's just through just through the, the just through the NFL world. So uh, just ultimately, we are uh, we are coming in and coming in to compete, um, correct the things that that we need to correct, and go out and, and you know compete and try to win the game. Go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Clyde. With the bye week, probably got a chance to reflect on the first half of the year. What's the biggest thing you've learned so far as a pro, and what would you like to see improved in yourself in the second half? Um, the the biggest thing I would say is uh, I learned patience, and that's that's something that you that you learn over just the course of life. But you know, different different aspect in life, you know, teaches different sets of patience. So I just learned uh, learned patience and. Coming into the second half of the season, you uh, you know it's it's those it's those little things, um, just being just being a rookie, just those those little small. And I mean, I can pick things from from every player, every game, but it's just those little small little little knickknack things that I, I just have to improve. Let's go next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Clyde. I kind of want to ask you a question that builds off of what Pete just alluded to, but being patient and understanding both the offense and seeing some of the misdirection and some of the trick plays that you guys have ran, uh, just what's it been like for you to experience that, why you guys run those plays, and what it was like for you to kind of be involved in your touchdown against the Panthers? Um, just just watching everything unfold, you know, throughout the weeks is, is pretty cool, pretty fun, and, and just – that's the thing with football is is building blocks and and that's what kind of that's what kind of stimulates my mind just it's a copycat league and and being able to being able to to mix and match things to to throw ultimately just throw the league off and and that's what that's what coach Reed is 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 very big at and that's what that's what keeps us interested and, and keeps us you know uh wanting to 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 compete and and just making just knowing that we have all those things in and and so many weapons it, it just gives us uh, that freedom to just go out and have fun. Let's go next to Harold Koontz. Go ahead, Harold. Clyde, your uh, senior year at LSU, you didn't lose a game, and then our, or your last year at LSU, I should say, you didn't lose a game, and then obviously you only lost one here with the Chiefs. What did you learn about the makeup of this team after a loss that kind of maybe motivated you even more to, you know, to correct the wrongs? Um, I, I feel like it was a, mind, a mindset that I've that I've been having, uh, you know, my entire life after a loss. We 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 flush it and, and bounce back, and then um, the the next week, you know, as soon as as soon as we possibly can, we're we're back in the playbook, trying to trying to see the things that that we can improve. But you know, this this league is about you know wins and losses, and you know, once we once we took that L, you know, take it to the chin, keep it moving, and 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 try to go conquer the next thing ahead of us. Let's go next to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Clyde. Just curious what you know about um, the Chiefs Raiders rivalry, what you knew about it maybe before you played that game. And, and was there any kind of different feel during the week or during the game about that? And Brad, I'll have one quick follow up. Um, I wouldn't say, you know, that we exercised the fact that it was it was a big rivalry. You know, you just know it's Raiders week. Uh, Growing up around football, you you kind of you you know that there is a rivalry, but you really can't you know put your input on it or really just get the taste of it until you actually play the game and and actually play against those guys and 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 actually feel the rivalry feeling. Um, and that and that's what's about football. Like you know the 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 rivalry is between the the players and the organization. So um, you you have to kind of be in it to really understand it. Yeah. And I'm sure you're familiar about the Raiders victory lap around the stadium after the game the last time around Arrowhead. You ever done a victory lap around a stadium after a game? <laughs> no, sir. Uh, usually, you know, I, I, you know, we go in and into the opponents and opponents arena, you know, handle our business and then we leave. It's strictly business. Let's go last to Sarin Petro. Go ahead, Sarin. But I'm curious, uh, you know, talk to coaches uh, about one of the most precious things they have, right, is time and reps and practice. You can have a lot of things you want to get to, but there's only so much time to get there. How's the division of what you work on in practice with the Chiefs maybe different uh, than what you worked on at LSU? Like time spent on plays versus, you know, teaching plays, reps on it. Like, How, how is the practice different, Chiefs, versus your, your college days? Um, I would say the, you know, this is this is my job now, so I come in and I'm able to – you know, come in in the morning and not go to school in the morning. So 
uh, the things that that I I feel like that I would you know miss or the things that I need to to do. Me being a professional, I, I work on it when I come in. So I don't think there's there's been a, a, a misstep or anything or just you know the the way that I need to be taught. But um, you know I learned a lot in college, uh, just learning how to prepare myself for this for these situations and just understanding and you know being a professional now you you, you tend to you you have to learn to do things on your own. So I just do some things on my own, but you know, just right now I can go upstairs and ask EB or ask Dylan or ask Coach Reed anything to to pick to pick their mind. So it's all available there. You just have to take advantage of it.